So in this video we're going to start talking about lenses and I have some lenses for you. There's one lens and right now we're going to be doing uh, converging lenses uh, otherwise known as convex lenses. Uh, there's a little bit more uh, powerful one so you can see some of the physics there and I'm just going to give a real quick introduction to lenses. So let's come up with um, let's come up with our, our little circle again and so we're going to set that there and we're going to make a circle like that and we're going to cut it off we're going to make a lens that goes like this So this is my lens. Okay, so now if I have a ray of light that comes in like this, well it's coming in normal to this surface. And so when it comes in normal to that surface, if I use Snell's law, it's going to keep going in the same direction and then it's going to come normal to that surface and so when it comes normal to that surface it's going to keep on going and so it is going to just keep going straight through the lens and that's what we're going to call once again our optical axis now if I have a ray of light that comes in parallel to the optical axis up here when it hits this flat side of the glass is going to keep going straight but then I'm going to have to do some uh, calculation to figure out what happens when it gets to there and so what I need is I need a normal remember that's the center of my curvature right there so my normal goes is a radius that goes from the center of curvature and so I'm going to create a normal here and I'm going to say that that angle is 15 degrees and that's 15 degrees in the it's hard for me to show because that what I really want to look at is that little angle right in there because we're in the lens and I'm going to say that the lens has an index of refraction of 1.6 so if I use Snell's law it's going to be one hang on n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 the N1 that I'm going to use is going to be 1.6 because I've already gotten into the lens. Sine 15 degrees is equal to 1 sine theta 2. And so that means my theta 2 is going to be 1.6 sine 15 degrees. And then I'm going to take the sine inverse of that and I'm going to get 24.5 degrees and so what I'm going to measure out here is that it's going to bend away from the normal uh, to 24.5 degrees and so that the ray of light is going to come in a little like this. Now the exact same thing is gonna this is going to be symmetrical so the exact same thing is going to happen on this side of the lens and so it's going to come in somewhere like this And I'm gonna, they're not gonna meet on the page. 
but you can see that these three rays of light were actually going to come together and they're going to come together at a point that's called the focus. And so once again we're going to in the next video we're going to talk about um, ray tracing for lenses and again I'm just gonna I'm gonna sketch out I don't want to spend a lot of this time on this video I'm gonna sketch out very simple there's my lens there's my optical axis and so we're gonna have a focus and another focus this should be about the same and then we will have some little person here and we're going to have three rays of light in parallel out through the focus in through the focus out parallel and then through the center of the lens and they're all going to meet up and then over here we're going to have my image okay and so we're going to do some example problems we're going to do um, just we're going to just like the other one we're going to do uh, probably four example problems